Hi, it's Nixon again from Zip Scanners. Today, what I want to show you is how to connect your BCD 436 or 536 for that matter to your computer and make it communicate with the Sentinel software. The steps are exactly the same whether you have the 436 or 536. Um, I just have a 436 in front of me, so we'll use that today. Uh, what we'll do first thing is find that USB port, that mini. Let's put it in. And with the other end, let's connect that to an open port on your computer. Once you've done that, you're going to want to enter uh, the mass storage mode. And I can do that just by pressing enter here when I turn on my scanner. Keep in mind if you have a new scanner that you're just opening out of the box, um, it will ask you to set the clock before you can do anything. Uh, you're, so you go ahead and do that. It'll ask you to, whether you want to go into that mass storage mode again. Make sure you do that first thing. So I'm in that mass storage mode. I'll set this aside. And I want to show you how easy it is to update your scanner now. Uh, we, 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 what we want to do is go into the software and on the top here you'll see updates and you just click on update firmware. This box will pop up. You want to find your scanner. I can see it in my D drive right here. It even says BCD 436. Click OK. And it will start updating it. I have already updated my scanner, so I don't need to do that. I can just click OK. What you'll need to keep in mind is once you finish doing that, that box will shut down on your screen on your computer. And all you need to do to finish that update is hit the power button. And you'll see it on the screen, the scanner screen itself, finishing the update. So make sure you don't turn off your scanner don't do anything, just make sure it finishes. Um, it'll let you know once it's completed. So that's that, that's how you update your scanner. Uh, I recommend doing this every couple couple weeks. You never know when uh, the updates are coming out unless you are a radio reference <clears throat> user. Uh, they usually post updates on there. Um, but if you're not doing, you're not checking that, um, just stick it in, plug it in like I showed you, and do the update yourself. All right. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at nixon at zipscanners.com. Thanks a lot.